So I went to the eye doctor today and uh, they adjusted my glasses and those glasses make me sick. And then she gave me new contacts but they don't fit my eyes right. So I'm back in my old glasses <coughs> and I have to go back to the eye doctor next week. Yay! So I'm really excited about that. Also, my car or my truck still isn't ready. Okay. Super, actually. They lied. They straight up lied. They said it would be ready Friday. I told them on three separate occasions. Then they said, they told me last Thursday it would be ready on Monday. Then they actually called my father, for some reason they have his phone number, on Friday and said it would be ready Monday. Called the day. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. That didn't happen. Oh, okay. Maybe we should report you guys to the, uh, you know, whoever regulates automotive industry. You guys are obviously drinking on the job or something. <laughs> I just noticed from the background. This is my desk area. Yes. I'm not what you would call organized. I'm not an organized person. I'm clean. I'll like lift up the mess and then like clean around it, but I'm not organized. Anybody wants to come over and organize for me? You can. Don't tell my mother. Jeez, she always wants to organize stuff. Do you have that problem? Does your mother come and clean at your house? <sighs> I mean, I don't mind if she does laundry and cooks and stuff, but... Don't touch myself, Mom. I know I'm 30. I don't need your help. Jeez. Alright. Oh, God. I've been waiting for 30 minutes. I really... I really need to learn. We got, we got Final Cut Express. I really need to learn it bad. Because iMovie takes, well, I don't, it might take that long on this, on that one. I don't know, but I really should learn it. I'm procrastinating. Well, that and Rick's using it for his video projects, so, you know, he has that open with his, I have iMovie with mine, it kind of like, we don't, you know. Honestly, I don't know how housewives do this. I'm exhausted. I had to get up, work, then drop Rick at school, then go to, I've been to like four stores already. I haven't even done Walmart and the grocery shopping. I don't know how they go to all these stores and all this stuff. I still have like stuff to do at home and still work to do. Like, I'm exhausted. I need a nap. Oh. And every store I go doesn't have what I'm looking for. It is like a screw Heather day. That's what it is. It's like anything that I need, the store is not going to have it. I'm like, man, just be it. Seriously. It's a conspiracy against me. I'm pretty positive. As you can see, it got a little colder. So I had to put on a sweater. Well, maybe I was wearing a sweater before. Oh, yeah, I guess when I went to Walmart, I was wearing a sweater. So, even though it wasn't really that cold, but it was like, it went to 72 despite this thunderstorm, but now it's 61. So, anyways, as you can see, I got my truck back. I'm so happy. So, they did, they ended up doing like more work from when that, the, the, when I lived in Nashville and that drunk like put a dent in my bumper, which I could have just like banged out, but I was lazy. Uh, that was like two years ago. Holy crap. It's been two years since I left Nashville. Well, yeah, Thanksgiving. I moved after Thanksgiving. It's almost Thanksgiving. Holy crap. <sighs> Yikes. Anyway, I'm so happy to have my truck back. It's so awesome. It's really clean because I had to, like, clean it out. Okay, well, not now. But you see in the back? See in the back? Oh, it's so clean. I love it. And, um, like, yeah, the console's all clean. It's awesome. Anyway, um, I'm just, I've hit, like, every pothole on the way home. It's so awesome. And, I mean, I'm going to miss the sound system and the Mustang, but, you know, uh, it's a good trade-off because with my truck, I can hit shit. Yay! I'm so happy to have it back. Okay, bye. Oh, I think that most of these are like me in the car now because, I mean, honestly, that's when I have the most time, you know? Um, 
I'm in the car all the time, you know, I guess that's part of the gypsy thing about me, you know. By the way, I got a nice thing going on right here. It's early in the morning, man. It's, oh, actually it's 6.25. Um, I would like to talk about music for a minute, because music is a huge part of my life. My husband is really into film, so music is not a big part of his life, and yeah, look at him do this, like, knock down, drag out over Led Zeppelin because he's, he sounds like my father. He says it's just, it's like somebody took acid. It's just noise, which is so funny. You know, my dad's 72, Rick's 37. Now I'm 30. My brother, I have a brother who's 40. Eight. Yeah, he'll be 49 this month. His favorite band is Led Zeppelin. And he grew up, I mean, he was born in the end of 62. Yeah, no, I did that math right, okay. So, you know, you have three, four separate generations of people. And, you know, two of them like Led Zeppelin, two of them don't. Rick told me that the only Led Zeppelin song he did like was uh, Stairway to Heaven. And I just, like, looked at him, like, with this look of disgust, like, go to hell and die. Stairway to heaven. Ugh. <sighs> no. My favorite one is probably Over the Hills and Far Away. I love the beginning of that one. I just heard, hey, hey, what can I do? So, that's what made me think of it. But I realized that probably the, a lot of times it's time for me to do the song of the day is in the morning. <laughs> at 5.45 in the morning because that's when I have all this time and I've been listening to the radio. Do you like my, like my new jacket, by the way? Yes, some of you that frequent Walmart will recognize it. It's $15, so check it out. Um, dude, it's really warm and I'm really cold and uh, I don't ever wear white, ever. Like, uh, my wedding day I, and yeah, I I think once when I was five, and my mother was like, mm, that was a bad idea. I, I, get, I get stuff dirty so fast. Like, I can't believe that this is... No. No, it's still not dirty. Do you feel though? I haven't really eaten or... No, I went hiking yesterday. Oh, wait, was that yesterday? I don't know. Anyway. So, uh... If I haven't done this one already, I like to do Social D's, Ball and Chain. That's an amazing song. Um, guys, it's old, you know, and being SoCal, gotta represent, you know what I'm saying? Um, love me my my social day, you know, spent probably a third of my life in San Diego, so. And then because there was one time that I did a song twice, uh, I'll insert, or I'll write down in the comments which one it was, because so, somebody emailed me and pointed it out to me. Hey, it's gonna happen. The second song I like to do is by Buffalo Springfield, Bluebird. Speaking of kind of an LSD trip, that is. Anyways, I gotta go into work, so I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.